Hey guys, this is Art Rizvi. I am the mayor of the city of Edwardsville. Today we're here for another segment of Spotlight Edwardsville. We will be showcasing Restore Decor. So please come by and volunteer, donate, and shop at Restore Decor today. Restore Decor is a resale shop for furniture and home accessories located here in Edwardsville, Illinois. And our concept is pretty simple. We receive uh, donated furniture items, whether people are moving or selling or downsizing and they have furniture that they want to get rid of or just redecorating. We take those donated furniture items and they are fixed up by an all-volunteer staff and they're sold or given away to people in our community in order to help those in need in our community. The goals at Restore Decor are kind of threefold. Number one, um, we like that we are keeping furniture out of the landfill and we're helping to save our environment. Number two, we are bringing people together. Restore Decor is that safe place in our community. It doesn't matter what you believe, what you look like, how you feel. Hopefully you're gonna feel good when you come to Restore Decor because we're kind of all in this together to do something good to help our community, which is the last good thing that's a part of our mission, which is to help people in need in our local community. The furniture pieces at Restore Decor are all donated to us by people who are moving or downsizing or redecorating and just have furniture that they no longer need. We mostly accept wood furniture pieces that we can either bring back to life by sanding them and restaining them or mostly painting. We have a lot of young volunteers that come and help us. We chalk paint a lot of the furniture because it's easy and because it's what's popular right now. So the furniture is painted, refurbished, given new life, and then mostly sold so that the proceeds can help people in our community. But some of the furniture is also given directly to people who are in the midst of a crisis. Maybe they've had a fire or maybe they've been homeless and are just finding a home for the first time and they need a bed or a dresser or a dining room table for their family. We can act quickly and just hand out those donations as people are needing them. Restore Decor operates out of three locations in downtown Edwardsville with an all-volunteer staff. So coordinating um, gets a little bit challenging at times. All of our donations go to our warehouse, which is on 2nd Avenue. It's there that donations are processed, they're cleaned, they're repaired by our Fix-It team, they're painted by our painting volunteers, and they're moved from that location to our two downtown retail locations on 2nd Street and on Main Street in order to have retail sales on Saturdays. So we've tried for the last several years to have an annual fundraiser to raise money for Restore Decor. Our most recent fundraiser was called Restoring 20s. It was a 1920s themed fundraiser located right next door to us at the Ink House. We had close to 200 people there most of them dressed in costume, and we raised several thousand dollars that can go directly to our own operating expenses so that we can give away even more money to people in our community this year. What we totally didn't anticipate in the process is that Restore Decor volunteers and customers would all become like family. We, for many years, were open every single Saturday, and we'd see the same families over and over coming to the market and then coming next door to Restore Decor. And we've grown close, and a lot of the, our volunteers come back week after week. So we really have grown to be very much a Restore Decor family. I often ask myself, why Edwardsville? God really could have put Restore Decor anywhere. He could have used anywhere to start this one-of-a-kind operation, but he chose Edwardsville. And I think there's a really good reason. People here are so incredibly giving. Not only do they give up their things, they also give up their time and their talents, and they give of their money. 
On Saturday mornings, we have a line out our door of customers that are choosing to shop with us. They're very intentional about wanting to put money back in our community, not only to help this nonprofit run, but to help all of the people that our nonprofit helps to support. I just want to say thank you again to all of those in our community who have taken the time to follow us on Facebook and watch for our pretty pictures that we post on Friday nights. Come and shop with us on Saturday mornings to intentionally choose to donate items with us and to make time to volunteer with us. That's really the only way Restore Decor happens is that people are willing to give up their things and their time and their talent to make a difference in our community. My name is Art Rizvi and I'm the mayor of the city of Edwardsville. Today I'm here with Dana Adams, the executive director and the founder of Restore Decor. So please come by and inspire charitable giving by recycling, restoring, and reselling furniture here at Restore Decor. And please tune in next time to another segment of Spotlight Edwardsville and remember to shop and volunteer local. If you would like to nominate a local business, organization, or volunteer group to be featured in a future episode of Spotlight Edwardsville, visit the City of Edwardsville's website, cityofedwardsville.com backslash spotlight and fill out the form. All nominations received will be randomly selected to appear in an upcoming episode of Spotlight Edwardsville.